And that really was something very special. Wade in the mood, and he has hit Phil Taylor with a very crisp uppercut in the first nine. round. In the Premier League in the last two years, he's the only man to beat this man twice. Beat him in Glasgow, then he beat him in Aberdeen in 09. Now you have got. Check that was Coventry beat him the second time, but he is the ball that James Wade in that match earlier against Whitlock went to 4-1 in no time did Wade. Then got double trouble. But the flow of that arm, it is instinctive talent on facing 100. manufactured talent. Said that Harry Bristol did not make him a player. He made him a winner. You shall see. Perfect dot to continue towards that magic nine. There's an ocean to the left of the marker. One hundred and eighty. We're on the edge of our seats. And our team went bonny. Did the nine daughter. They call it. One hundred. Phil Eric 147 shot then for a nine dart finish from Philip Taylor. Hold your breath. Yeah. Treble 17. Yeah. Double 18 for a moment of history. Yeah. He did it! He did it! Oh, he did it. A nine daughter in answer! I do not believe my goggling bins! Well, there is Philip Taylor and there is his opponent. And that you have joined in and shared a moment again of sporting majesty and television history. Who's got the bottle? I'm loving these cliches like who wants it. Whose technique will give a millimetre of escape? He'll use the middle, middle eye. He used the two barrels. He got hard out Isaac Newton. That was an apple falling. The third dog by Taylor. James chasing him though. And whispered again, Sid, uh, there's a nine daughter in prospect here. Taylor hits another 180 or 177. He did a nine daughter in leg two. We'd have him win the first leg. He's after it again. What a gasp there if he gets this one. Whoa. He's on it! Again! He's on it again. He did it in leg two. Well, whoever thought I was going to say this, but watch James Wade. I called one, Sid. It's your turn to possibly call a second for the first time in darting history. They are both coming down in nine daughter style first pop. Treble 19. Double 12! Yes, Dave, let him say it! Because I'm gobsmacked! I am gobsmacked! Say it, Dave! You are present in a moment of the greatest sporting history, certainly in darts. Two nine darters in one night from Phil Taylor. Tell your grandchildren about that. That's the dart that did it for Phil Taylor, and that is historic. Dave Lennon said in leg five he thought Phil was after two. Why got good? Two nine daughters in a one match. Six you leg wouldn't leg believe it, but you must, because it's here on your box. Seven in the tournament. Make that line to eight. But your granny in a roomy. Send your daddy to the steamy. Get some biscuits and a drappy. This dance match will make you happy. Well, I said it was five to one against the nine darter. It's a lot shorter now because Lewis. Could, could do it in a world final. One Allen stood. Double to smack. John Liney. Yeah. Double 12. Yeah. Hey, it's a nine dollar. Get 10,000 pounds under the kitty. We have sensation in no time at all. Have you ever seen anything like it? In a world championship final, Adrian Lewis and Nigel. Oh, he's going to be in contention. He's going to be in contention for this leg. Is he just 160? Maximum start without using the ball. 
And game on! Oh, unlucky Wade! It's going wrong for Wade now! What a chance for the Irishman here, Rod! Massive chance, and, and what was James Wade going for the bullseye 25 with that third dart? You know, in the first three, I couldn't understand that. Now, Brendan, and again, that first dart's in, absolutely perfect. Second one is perfect. This could be the set, and he's second, 180 off this leg, and what, what a great leg to put in against the throw. And the nine dart finishes on. What a story this could be! On the Emerald Isle, here, on the outskirts of Dublin, it's Dolan, 1-6-1. Yes, two more perfect dart, treble 17, yes, Go on. bullseye, bullseye for the nine yes! the first ever, <laughs> the first ever in Grand Prix history, Dolan has done it, what a story! What a moment! 40 is not really, you would think, normally hurt. Now, if he doesn't hit, a big shot here. 140. Brilliant after the first start. In the circumstances, fantastic stuff. Terrific bottle from Nicholson. Just 24 points between the teams. It could hardly be much closer. Taylor has hit single five. 44. Only 44. Phil Taylor chose not to have a shot at the bullseye and tried to set it up. Will that be the biggest mistake in World Cup history? No. This has got 100. to go. 88 has England got to go. 88. for the World Cup, for the world champion. Can still do it, treble 17. Can still do it, treble 17 for double 16. No, 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 no. And 32. so now, and so now, Paul Nicholson, the adopted Aussie, 56. is potentially two darts from winning the World Cup for the Australians. Pure nerves from Adrian Lewis. Nicholson takes his time. Wants double top to be crowned a World Cup winner. Low. Double 10 to be a World Cup winner. 36. He has missed two darts for Australia to be crowned world champions. It may not Maybe happen now. 56. And now you couldn't wish for a better man to strike for glory. Taylor, 15 times world champion for tops, for double 10 for England. 46. Even the man that has won everything has crumbled under the pressure. They were not good darts at all. It's all too much. You can tell by the, the players' faces. Nicholson and Taylor have blown their chances. Can Whitlock take his? Double five, he can't come inside. He has come inside. No score. Well, three of them have had a go, Wayne. And perhaps fittingly enough, it's the world champion himself, the man who's hit two doubles to win world championships, who gets the chance now. Well, Adrian Lewis has looked the most nervous man up there. Game. He so, is the one, he goes to his knees. They are England. celebrating England, our World Cup winners. It was a long time ago. He <laughs> can't. He's in again, 180 started at like Rod Harrington. This is amazing. Yeah. It's, it's brilliant darts, Fred. And you know, now I don't play them all and have no incentive to play. I still love the game. But when they firing at each other like that, it, you know, it doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. I'm going to ask you a little question in a minute, Freddie, because this oh. lad's Dutch and he's oh. got another 180. Sue Van Gerwen cannot let me see a nine dart finish on commentary. Fred, it could be the first one, you commentate on a nine data fan. I am sat at the edge of my seat now, Rod. I'm ready to go, come on, Van Gerwen. Oh, he's in for treble 19. Go on, Van Gerwen, do it well. Yeah! It's the nine data finish, Dublin. The first one I've seen in the commentary box. Go on, Van Gerwen. And the crowd erupts. John Quinn's on his feet. Rod Barrett has wet himself.
This is amazing! <laughs> it is amazing! It really is incredible! Oh, yes! Rod Harrington! We have just witnessed a nine data, you, Freddie Flintoff and me, together. I feel privileged there, Gwynny. I feel privileged in the commentary box for one of sport's greatest achievements, a nine down Double 11 to go within of being the World Grand Prix champion. 4-1 up, looks like losing 6-4. It's got to be said, Michael Van Gerwen through the middle and latter part of this match has been nothing short of sensational. It's all gone wrong. The Mervyn King, Michael Van Gerwen, in a fantastic final. Can he win it in style? Can he win it in style? Darts player James Wade, and he will fight. Also, will start believing again. If he can win this set, despite the fact in, in legs, it's actually 11 5 to Michael Van Gerwen. But one more leg for James Wade here as Van Gerwen hits a magnificent 7 180. It just goes to show the big difference with set play. Wade wins a leg here. And only one set in it. But doesn't Nine that seasons. illustrate the point I was making? Wade wins two legs on the trot, denies Van Gerwen a shot at double 11, and suddenly it awakens him. It awakens Wade. the young man to Seven quite brilliant, seven. brilliant moments. Six starts in the requisite trebles, and 1 4 4 for the nine dart finish. Well, six perfect darts. Michael against Lee Adrian Lee Lewis in one Lee leg, Lee. seven perfect darts in another leg. It's on. Double 12, magnificent Michael Van Gerwen, who raises the roof with a nine darter in a World Championship semi final. Blackpool in July, London in December. believe do you know we talked about it an hour ago John we speculated that it was very possible tonight and nobody has ever struck nine darters in successive legs but this man now suddenly from nowhere presumed produces magic, the like of which we may have never seen or ever see again. 141, he's on again, it's on again, double 12, oh, I don't believe it. 18, almost perfect, dark 17, we saw, and that would have been a moment of rest. Genius! Revealed! Oh. Breathtaking! Got to finish it now, we've still got to win the leg, and he does! Deficit against that man is very difficult to drag back. 12-180 is already in this match. My goodness. Phil really should switch. Phil really should. Well, no, he shouldn't. He should just go in at 180. Hits a single 20. There is no finish. But Phil Taylor doesn't care. Oh, this is just. This is. Look, look. look. It, it is funny. Adrian Lewis is laughing about it. it yes, it's unbelievable. It, my, my. What, what's going on? To do with Adrian Lewis. It's all Phil Taylor at the moment. His doubling is better. 30, 180s. 
now one short of the all-time PDC record, Taylor Barnabell 07 finals, Circus Tavern. You can count the number of mistakes on, on one hand. And after 24 oh, legs of darts now, what we're in. Back after the break. Prolonging it, prolonging the agony, not just for himself, but for Phil. Phil will want to wrap this up. Well, that's unlucky. Very. Extremely. Would have been another match, surely. Quite have the oomph. These have got the oomph, all right. That really is fantastic, because Adrian Lewis, he knows one more error, and that's it. Game over. So to relax, and hit a 180 was sublime. 140. Adrian Lewis had 19, sorry, 18 180s. 18 180s. 55. Phil Taylor wants a 180 himself. I cannot see this stat 59. ever being beaten, Rod. I really can't. Yes, you yes, say yes. that, Wayne, but what happens if they met in the World Final at the Alexandra Palace on January the 1st? Over the best of 13 sets, man. 42. It could be 50. Stop it. Go on, Phil, leave double one. Go on, Phil, leave double one. He wasn't going to, was he? Just wanted to see another 180. 122. Thank you, Eureka, 164. Oh, go on then, treble 19. Oh, unlucky, wrong side of the wire. Yeah, he might well make a forensic examination of the dartboard. Had he been on the right-hand side of the wire rather than the left, he would have been looking at Bolt. 132. So, two darts away. 60. Phil Taylor wants tops. Game. And so the curtain comes down the on the greatest game of darts. Wade has the throw and he's off and running straight away. It really has been a brilliant, brilliant display in that first set. And a great 160 to start for the twice Grand Prix champion. Thornton's away as well. Yeah. World number seven, James Wade against the world number ten and Robert Thornton. World class players as well, that's for sure. That's a great dart, and that's four perfect darts for James Wade. Here he goes again. Oh, oh six nice. perfect darts for James Wade. Been done once by Brendan Dolan. Are we going to have a moment of magic here? At the City West. 140. James Wade, 161. Here we go, James Wade. Is he on the verge of something special here? Needs the treble 17. It's on! It's, it's on in! It's in! It's, in. it's more history in Dublin! Struggling to remember 160. a game in the history of the World Grand Prix. I'm sure someone will correct me. Where the where the the, fin uh, the starting doubles have been so good. 120. I mean, the, both players have been terrific on getting away on tops. Oh, he's on again. Can you believe this? We've had a one. And the 180, James Wade has hit a nine data. Surely not. Thornton needs one, six, Robert one. Robert Here we go. Treble 20 for Thornton. Gets it. Treble 17. Gets it. We're on again here. Oh, I can't believe it. Two nine darts as in one night.
Gary Anderson has never, ever been in this position before. And that's what he can do. Push come to shove. The man is holding it together. They started this darting wow. drama two and a half hours ago, and now Anderson is just moments away from claiming the crown. Wow. He's shown he's ready. If he couldn't cross the line, he'd have buckled by now. He's not going to buckle. Not a chance. 57. Phil Taylor cannot leave a finish after these darts. Not enough. Gary Anderson, 130 points to become world champ. Ball. Wow. Well, he went for the fireworks and the fanfare finish. Should he have just plonked a dart in single ten? Well, we'll see in a moment or two, because wow. Anderson's now under pressure to clean up. Gary required 25. Double 12. And it's Get glory, up. glory, Gary Anderson at the Alexandra Palace. He follows in the Will darting Dark footsteps Sydney. of the legendary jockey Wilson and wins the World Championship for Scotland. Phil Taylor will not win World Championship number 17 tonight. What a man.